There is a growing view that autonomous cars are overhyped, that the technology isn't realistic yet, and may not be realistic for several decades. Back in 1949, an infamous article in Popular Mechanics made the bold prediction that one day a computer may only weigh one and a half tons. And in 1977, Ken Olsen, founder of Digital Equipment Corporation, said, there is no reason anyone would want a computer in their home. Could the cynics be wrong? Here are three reasons why they could be wrong. Exponential change, convergence, and tipping points. The smartphone is a classic example. Before 2007, when Steve Jobs revealed the iPhone, touchscreen phones or personal digital assistants, like the Apple Newton, made very little impact. But by the end of the 2010s, various technologies which have been advancing exponentially converged and in hardly any time at all, touchscreen phones went from gimmicky toys to the products nearly all of us use today. If the same rate of innovation and adoption is applied to the evolution of autonomous vehicles, then the implications are enormous. However, the major obstacle that the autonomous market faces is safety. Are cars that can drive themselves safe? Autonomous cars currently in testing require a safety driver, a human being who sits behind the wheel and takes over if something goes wrong. According to James Jeffs from analyst firm ID Tech X, the number of miles driven between occasions when the human safety driver felt the need to take over has been increasing by a multiple of 2.2 every year. If it continues to progress at that rate, um, where do we get to? And the answer was that in 2024, um, the dis miles per disengagement would be equal to the miles between crashes for the average American. And if the trend continues, by 2050, there will just be one accident for every three trillion miles driven by autonomous cars. So let's let's imagine that I'm I'm wrong. We we don't get to that point at 2050. We're we're not close to three trillion miles. Let's say we're an order a thousand uh, an order of a thousand off with three orders of magnitude off uh, we're only able to cover three billion miles between crashes that's still ten thousand times more than drivers can do at the minute ten thousand times safer if cars become fully autonomous we will probably see transport as a service model and robo taxis cars spend 95 percent of their time parked if we were to migrate en masse to robo taxis fraction of the current car fleet will be required to meet our needs. The implications of autonomous cars are as profound as you can get. I, I, I was giving a talk on something about city design a while ago, and I dug out photographs in of Ireland, the UK and other places from like 100 years ago, when people didn't have a road up to the front of their house, they either had a dirt track or a lawn. And you look at those houses now and you go, what, what's missing out of that? And you go, the driveway. Like we, so much of our life is dictated by cars. So when you walk down the street, right? Imagine you're on the pavement, but imagine every roadway around you is a giant chasm that you could fall into. Wouldn't you be walking along the side of the building, keeping yourself away from the chasm? But actually getting hit by a car is equally a danger, more so because a car can jump the curb and, and strike you, whereas a chasm is still a chasm. So we, are live in fear of cars and we design everything around them like if you when cars became a thing a hundred odd years ago whatever number that is if you told me that a million people a year would die from car accidents i go oh, they'll never let that happen but that's fact and yet we all drive cars if we all need less cars to meet our collective needs if drones which we order on demand replace cars Imagine the implications. The ideas we describe here feel a tad terrifying. 
autonomous cars and passenger drones could do to the existing car industry what it did to the horse. The, the data that's available on California DMV is uh, how many miles has each of the testing companies driven and how many times has a safety driver had to intervene with the autonomous um, system. So for the leaders um, who are Waymo, which are backed by Google, um, their parent company is Alphabet, which is um, Google, and uh, the other leader is Cruise, um, whose parent company is GM. And both of those have in the billions of dollars of backing. Um, and they are the, the highest performers and uh, they test the most. So between them in 2020, uh, they covered 1.4 million miles in testing. Um, at the moment, they managed to go about 30,000 miles between disengagements. Um, those figures are published every year. So um, what we did in our research was we looked at the figures in 2015. Uh, we then looked at the figures in 2018, 2019 and 2020. We looked at their performance over that five year period and we saw that for the top three, the um, disengagement miles was increasing at a factor of approximately 2.2 um, every year. So every year, the distance between disengagements on average would more than double. So what we've done is just extrapolate that. We say if it continues to progress at that rate, um, where do we get to? And the answer was that in 2024, um, the dis miles per disengagement would be equal to the miles between crashes for the average American. If the doubling keeps happening, 2024 is the time when uh, disengagements or miles per disengagements uh, exceeds the distance between crashes for Americans. It's just so easy to see that in the short term, we're going to hit parity. As autonomous cars evolve to outperform human-driven cars, future safety concerns may be focused on the human driver rather than the robot. The tipping point for all autonomous vehicles requires more than just a good safety record. We explore the role of connectivity, sustainability and the massive financial and structural implications that an autonomous transport network would have on the way we live and work today in our next videos. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you like what we do, please consider becoming a Techopian on Patreon. It will help us to continue researching and create the content that you are interested in.